Hello, I present Canyon Path Light 6 in two versions. Grey one has lowered frame called mid-step in size medium, and green one has classic frame called step over in size large. Both bikes are brand new, they were bought straight from Canyon's website for less than 1000 euro and are in stock specification, so they should be the same, but they are not. More on that in a moment. Path Light is a typical cross bike, only in a modern design. Depending on size and version, it weighs about 13 kg and is probably the only bike on the market that has classic and lower version, which is not the same as woman's frame. If you find this movie useful, I will be grateful for leaving a like and subscription, it helps a lot in developing the channel. Of course, Canyon has all the necessary features of cross bike, such as mounts for rack, mud guards, bottle cages, kickstands, but also the latest 12-speed Shimano NTB drivetrain with a single narrow white chainwing and what's nice, a threaded bottom bracket. Santor NRX Air Fork with a fairly long travel of 75mm has steel stanchions and steerer tube, which unfortunately is not tapered. Interestingly, in a more expensive version, fork and frame have true axles. Drivetrain is a mix of Dior, SLX and XT, but only in green version. Grey one, probably due to stock shortages, have Sunrise cassette for older HD free hub instead of SLX with micro spline mount. No name hub with huge drag and these strange no name brakes. Of course, Canyon informs on its website that it can make such a changes, but it is not a pleasant surprise. In my opinion, this arrogant behavior should be compensated in other, better parts. The rest of components are the same, apart from tires, which are narrower in mid-step bike. Despite this situation, I think Pathlight is worth its price and it's a well-equipped bike. But like always, I found a few minuses. In grey one, saddle has a slack on one rod, which causes a knocking noise. Cable do not have soundproofing covers, so they are also loud. You need to be careful when cornering, because Pathlight has a very low bottom bracket, but because of it, it is fun to ride. Overall, bike is well made and there are no major issues with it. If you want to upgrade anything in this bike, I would firstly buy a different saddle, seat post, decent pedals, better tires and if somebody like, a higher handlebars. Lighter wheels would also change a lot, but that is much more expensive investment. The most interesting models is 5, this 6 and more expensive 7 with two axles, so for a cross bike it's like premium level. It's also worth checking Canyon website from time to time, because there are often discounts on their bikes. In my opinion, the only real competition for Pathlight is Polygon Heist X5 or X7, which soon I hope to make a review if I will convince the future owner, who is not yet completely sure of that bike. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!